Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my long awaited wash and go tutorial. The first thing you want to do is make sure you start off with a very good leave-in. Um, I'm using the Shea Moisture Extra Moisture Leave-In Conditioner that I got from Ulta. By far this is one of my favorite leave-ins. Next it's time to apply your gel based styler. Today I am using the Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly. This is actually my first time using it in this video. So this is somewhat of a first impressions video. You want to make sure that you're raking the product through the hair and not just smoothing it down. You can use smoothing motions but I like to rake the product through that helps to clump my curls a lot better. My hair is super frizzy in the back, so I need as much curl definition as I can get. So continue raking the product through your hair until you get the curl definition that you want. That's exactly what I'm doing here. Now it's time to move on to the next section. I'm going to be doing that same raking motion again to add curl definition to my hair looking at this video is so annoying because I know how frizzy my hair gets and actually seeing it on camera just frustrates me so much like I wish I had perfect curls that never frizzed up but that is not my reality so if you don't have super defined curls right when you get out the shower, it's okay because closer to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get that added definition outside of just raking the product through your hair. It's important to work in sections because that's how you're gonna get your curls to clump together. You don't wanna put too much product on at once and not give the individual strands attention because then you're not gonna have a defined wash and go. I really need to stop using the word curls because technically I have coils. Um, I don't have the most perfect S curls all over my hair. Um, the only place where uh, my hair goes into an S formation is in the front of my hair, but in the back of my head, it's definitely coil central. The front of my hair is where I spend most of my time because that's the first area that people see. Nobody really sees the back, so I don't really care what's going on in the back. I care more about what's going on in the front of my hair than I care about what's going on in the back of my hair. As you can see, the front of my hair defines so much easier than the back of my hair. I think it's just because I have so many different textures all over my hair and the front is just a lot looser than the back. Now I'm getting to the part of my hair that I really hate the most, my crown. My crown is so frizzy and so thick. It does not do what I need it to do. See, see, look, look. I, it, it, I have to use a Denman brush in order to detangle that part of my hair because it's so thick. Like I can't even get my fingers through it. Look at it. And because I'm lazy, I am not going to go back through my hair with that dim and brush again. If there's any secret I have for a wash and go, it would have to be applying a finisher. Finishers provide extra fizz control and shine to the hair. And if you haven't noticed, I need as much frizz control and as much shine as I can get because my hair is not naturally um, unfrizzy and it doesn't have a natural shine to it. It has a bit of a sheen, but it's not a silky shine. To get those coils slash curls popping even more, shake that hair. After I'm done shaking my hair out, now it is time to actually style. Basically, what I was doing at the beginning was just 
putting the product on. That's it. We, we haven't even gotten into the styling portion, but now I'm gonna break everything down in a little bit more detail to show you how I get super defined coils. I go back and finger coil random curls for added definition and to also give me a little bit of longevity for my wash and goes. This doesn't have to be perfect by any means. This is not a coil out. So you can be as messy as you want. You can pick any strands that you want to use. I mainly pick the strands that are on the limper side. Um, the front of my hair, like I said, is a lot looser. So I kind of have to give it a bit of a boost by finger coiling it. I know you're probably thinking, wow, Danielle, this is doing the most. I thought this was a wash and go. But really, it doesn't take me a long time to do my hair. At most, it takes me 15 minutes if I really, really, really want my hair to be popping. Or if I'm taking a picture for Instagram and my hair has to be in the picture, I'll take a little bit more time. But on a regular day, I really spend about 10 minutes on my hair. That's why I like to call this a wash style and go because I'm not actually just putting product in and leaving the house. I have to go back and style it if I want my coils to have some definition to them. I primarily do these finger coils so that my wash and goes last two to three days. I find that when I do add these coils, I don't even have to do that much the next day. I can get away with just wetting my hair with some water, putting um, a little bit of conditioner or a curling cream on top, and I'm good to go. The finger coils help to lock your curls in place. My hair is finally starting to look a lot more presentable before it was a ramen noodle hot mess. But now we have a little bit of, you know, popping curls. When my hair has length, I don't have to go through all of this because my hair will naturally clump together on its own. Um, but because I do have this TWA, I have to spend a little bit more time doing the whole finger coil act because I don't have that hang time like I normally do with the front part of my hair. So here we are back at the crown again. Initially, I wasn't going to define this section just because I was lazy, but I decided to go back and use my curls control paste to put a little more definition on the ends. Like I said, my crown is super frizzy. Look at me, I'm happy. Look at it, it's coming together. But anyways, um, I wanted to add a little of that control paste at the end so that the crown of my hair doesn't frizz up throughout the day. I'm taking out some of the coils in the front just to give me a little bit more volume. I don't have a lot of volume in the front of my hair so I can't do super big coils or else it's just gonna look, it's not gonna look uniform. And now we're finished. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if there's anything else that you want to see on my channel. Bye!